I think students do well in, in school when they're known, when they're known by name, when a teacher says uh, hello to them in the hall and says, hey, that was a great goal last night, or I saw you in the play. There's a level of individual attention that allows us to really focus on each student. The community is unbelievable here. I think everyone's so close. Um, we all support each other. I know my class is almost 300 people, but I've grown to like know almost all the students and my peers around me. I've had many acquaintances, and I think that really helps you with your high school experience. We've got 1,400 boys who come in here every day, each with their own story, but their own story is unique. And if you sit down and have a conversation with any of our boys, you know, that, that, that comes off the page immediately. How do we as a school create the space for those stories to be heard? Part of the fun of teaching is getting to know students, and part of getting to know students is getting to know their strengths and their weaknesses and really seeing them for who they are. When seventh graders and ninth graders are coming in with all different skills, we have a number of support systems. We have some organized programs like the Bridge Program in Arupe and the Madden Scholars in the high school, but then we just have that one-on-one -on -one attention to the student that no teacher is gonna let a kid slip. I can't really think of a time where um, I was lost and couldn't find help. Um, our guidance department is great. Every student is given a guidance counselor in ninth grade. That person ideally follows them for four years and then they're enrolled in a group guidance course. So every day I'm teaching students that are on my caseload in small group setting, usually 10 students at a time and freshman year, it's all about the transition to BC High. What does it mean to be at a Jesuit school? We check grades for students. We review report cards. We talk about academic progress. And a lot of it is just connecting them to one another. And then sophomore, junior, senior year, we cover a variety of different things in the process. But junior and senior year, most of group guidance is all about the college process or career planning. And the guidance team does a great job of helping kids really develop and find out who they are, who they want to be. The relationships we have with our students, I would say, become central to making sure that students are navigating this place well. I love that they love to learn. Um, I love that they don't mind failing as long as they can learn something from it um, and grow. I love their energy. I love the competitiveness they bring to the classroom, um, how they harness it in such a positive way. Our boys are really committed to excellence and those students who, who are challenged uh, at certain times of the year, the boys really come together and support one another. I know without you know my close friends, it'd be really tough to get through this. There's so many people that like are here to help you. Um, I've never seen anybody ask for help and be like, no, not helping you, like that's not how it works here. We all just kind of like, we know we're in this together and we just help each other get it done. And that's one of the first moments a student here at BC High gets the experience of what it means to be a man for others. This past year we had 108 students become senior mentors and their sole job was just to welcome these freshmen and help them in their transition. I'm proud of being a senior mentor. Uh, I really love it. Uh, it's one of the things that is making my senior year very enjoyable. It's nice to have a support system like this where um, all older high schoolers can support the younger ones. So, A lot of times we think about guys who kind of lead from the top down. Uh, but here we talk a lot about servant leadership. Uh, and that's, that's what Men for Others is all about. This idea of not leading from above, but leading from side by side. And so these, these seniors uh, are incredible leaders who take care of the people around them. They, they, they treat them with care and respect, um, and they treat them as brothers and friends. I consider it such a privilege to walk with them, to see them succeed, to help them through things that are difficult. It's competitive. I mean, everything at the school is in some way competitive. If you send your son here, it'll be hard. It'll be tough. It's a huge commitment. The standards and expectations are really high, whether it be out in the field kicking a ball, whether it be in a classroom, whether it be on retreat. But the one thing is your son will be accompanied all the way and he will be propped up when it's difficult and he'll be supported at all times to get to those standards and those expectations. These four years have shaped me so much and I'm just so prepared for the future and I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. 
I've always heard like my parents say, find a job that you're passionate about. My, my counselors are like, find a job that you're really passionate about. And I don't see this as a job, I just, I just see it as a straight passion.